Have you ever wondered what would win, a sea creature or a synthesizer? No, actually, I've never wondered that at all. <laughs> Me neither, but we're going to find out today anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Chad Magic. My name's Christian. And I'm Wally, and this is yet another episode of our Pork and Mini series. Today we've got Blue Black Terror, one of the most powerful decks in the meta, facing off against Boros Synth. I'm personally really excited for Blue Black Terror, because that big, big downshift of Cryptic Serpent mm. really made it a very interesting deck to play. But what's uh, coming up, Christian? Oh, well, we'll actually have a first timer here today. We've got Stefanos. So, welcome, Stefanos. Stefanos is uh, a local member of our community, uh, the Greek god himself. Uh, he gave himself that nickname, I believe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is going to join us. He's going to be playing the Synthesizer deck. And then we have, and I want everyone to just imagine, like, you know, like the boo that come in pantomime. I'll do it. Boo. boo. We have coming up from the depths, Luis. <laughs> so Luis is joining us as well. He's going to be playing the Terra deck, so it's going to be really, really good fun. Uh, but before we get into the action, we do have a giveaway, Wally. We sure do. So if you'd like the chance to win this Dominari Remastered Drift, Draft Booster set. Drift Booster? Drift Booster, Drift yeah. Booster. That's what I said, and I'm sticking with it. That's what the kids are calling. <laughs> if you'd like to win it, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Buttons down there. Then share one of our videos on social media, any social media you like. Send a screenshot of it to the channel email address. We'll pop it in below there. And then when we get to 5,000 subs, one lucky person will win this box. Yeah, we'll send it out to you anywhere in the world. But if you'd like to go one step further than that, then please feel free to join our Patreon. We have two tiers available. The first tier starts at just a pound a month. You get to join our Discord. Come hang out with all these lovely people. We love you guys. You're honestly, your support means so much to us. And our top tier patrons were actually jamming some spell table games with us recently as well. So that would be fun. And we're going to do that monthly. So if you want to get in that top tier, you want to jam some games, you want to actually go, Christian, you're not the threat. I'm the threat. Come jam with us on spell table. It'll be good fun. But I think that's enough preamble. Yeah, I think it is. Let's get to the episode. Let's go. Round one. Fight. Hey guys, it's Luis again, bringing you back one of Popper's most terrorizing decks, Blue Black Talarian Terror, with my nice W ready to take this dub. Hello, my name is Stefanos, I'm playing Boros Synthesizer, I won the die roll and I'll win this game, however, I'm mulligan to six, but we'll see how it goes for my friend opposite the table. Friend is a strong word, and the die roll's the only thing you're winning today. Ooh, I apologize to my friend then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I will start with um, a very fast tapped artifact land that gives me both colors. Not ideal in a Boros Synthesizer deck, but you can go. Okay, draw. I'll start with my own tap land, Ice Tunnel, and pass to you. The pressure. <laughs> I'll draw for the turn. Um, I'm going to start with Tapping for red mm -hmm. and playing an experimental synthesizer Whoa. because the that's namesake. the deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I will exile the top card of my library. It's a two mana thing which I cannot play. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> However, I'm going to play these planes mm -hmm. and I will play a Glint Hawk and return this to my hand. Oh, look at this guy. All oh, right. That's All what right. the deck does. Then I will exile another card. Which I can't play. It's a good card, though. <laughs> nice. So is this, this uh, Boros Mill? Bor what, what, self Boros Mill? A, a Self Exile. Yeah, okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it, that's yeah. it. Got, that's it, got it, got it, got it. You can go now. All right, I will untap, draw, very lucky boy, and pass the turn. Okay, I will untap, and I will draw for turn. Now, to no one's surprise, I will try to play this experimental synthesizer once again. Hmm. A Would feeling. you like to respond? I have a feeling your deck might rely on this card, so <laughs> I will take the bait and counterspell it. That's a beautiful counterspell you've got there, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, so that's a good counterspell you've got there, sir. And I will continue my turn by first... With the 2-2. I have a feeling it's better to get rid of this now, so I'm just going to snuff it out, paying for life. Okay. And I will play a Thraben Inspector. I'll make a clue. One of Pioneer's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, and I will play an Ancient Den. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. On tap. Draw. Um, I'll start with a Mental Note. Yep. I'm going to mill two. 
and draw a card. What is it worth doing here? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I will consider now. Okay. See if I can spike it on you. I will put mental note into the graveyard, draw a card, uh, and I'll pass to you. That's good for us. <laughs> so I'll draw it for turn. Friendly reminder, there is six instant or sorceries in the graveyard. Yes. You know what that means, right? Yes, I, do. I know oh, what that sure? means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, know. I know it's hard in your old age. Count cards. No, no, I know what this. that means. I know okay. what that okay. means. Do you, uh, you need more mana though, right? To, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, cast yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. that is. Yeah. 100%, yeah. I would like to attack yeah. for one. I will take the one. 15 is the magic number. So, second lane. 15 is the magic number. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, for the second lane phase, I would like to play a Gold Warden's Helm and make a rebel. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it resolves. You can go. The very aggressive aggro deck you have there. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'll take an opportunity here. Forward it. I don't need much, so I'm just going to start with a brainstorm. As Meguchi taught me, it's better to brainstorm on your turn instead of on the end step. So you see all the cards. Uh, yep, I'm going to put these two back. I'll put land onto the battlefield. A tapped land. <laughs> and your favorite friend. Yep, yeah, sure. And pass the turn. Pass the turn, okay. So I will untap. Draw for turn. You look a little worried over there, Stephanus. So in this situation here, yeah. I think we need to draw a card. This is a, raw, uh, a, a rule you probably remember. Um, you can concede at any time. It's been the same since back in the Dinosaur Age when you started playing. I, I, I'm okay. I'm yeah, yeah but okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks yeah, for the any, advice. Anytime, anytime. I will draw a turn from my clue. Yeah. This clue that goes over there. <laughs> draw. Ooh. Let's see if I can do something with the experimental synthesizer. It resolves. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very good card again. <laughs> Let's let it exile. <laughs> Let's not find any lands. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn then. I will untap, <laughs> draw for turn. He's just a 5-5. Five, five. Easy. Um, so he's going to meet his friend. I'm sorry, may I take a sip? <laughs> <laughs> the sip of embarrassment. Uh, and you know, I'm going to attack for 5. I shall take it. Okay. I'm on 50. And this was just to despair you beforehand, this is to despair you after. I will play a Gourmag Angler. Yeah. I'm going to exile. Uh, Six. <laughs> and then I shall pass it back to you. Sure. Yeah. I must say, you're not original at all playing just five fives. Yeah. <laughs> at least, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Yeah, the some, two three is yeah, cool. There's yeah, some that, variety yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's I cool. will some Old school magic there for you. Draw this. Okay, so, very interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna play uh, Core Skyfisher. I'm gonna return this back to my hand, and you, I will exile one card. You, you got it. Whoa, I can play this. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> Let's make some space here, because, you know, we all have our boards. So I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah we definitely have boards, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play Evoldar and Epicure, Yep. and you will take one, and I will make a blood token. And then uh, I think I can pass. Safely pass, okay. yeah. I will Thought Scour on you and step targeting myself. Sure. One, two, and draw. Untap. Um, on the upkeep before I draw, I'm actually going to consider. Yep. Hmm. I actually think I'm going to keep this one. It feels like you want to be unoriginal now and play a six-five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, am I in any danger of dying here? You have one, yes. two, three, four. By six and then burn spells, but you don't. Yeah. I am more than happy to attack, to with, attack everything. with everything. Give you a chance, you know. I'm going to block one of them. Sure. Cool. Chump block and take ten. You got it. Say go. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to attack. Drop. Very unconservative conservative line for myself. Let's play a synthesizer again. Resolves. Exactly. No, you gotta land, buddy. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. Top land. Yeah, I'm gonna play the land. Sure. I'll gain one. Maybe oh, relevant. Okay. Maybe relevant. relevant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm going to attack for two. 
I'll take two. Then I'm gonna pay one and play another Thraben Inspector. Another Thraben. Um, I'm going to Counterspell. I want to get rid of all your little chump blockers. Sure. Then I will pass the turn. On tap. Draw. It's pretty good. I'll begin the turn by thought scarring myself. Yeah. Okay. I will cast a Tolarian Terror. Yep. I'll tap for 15. I would like to chump block uh, two of the creatures with my Epicure and the Rebel. You got it. I'll go to one. And I'll say go. Uh, this dies and this dies. And I will, at the end of the turn, sacrifice a blood token mm -hmm. and discard the Boros Garrison. <laughs> nice. And draw. Then on top. I'm playing all my creatures before I attack just to show you how. Yeah, I'm yeah, you, you're more. just uh, demonstrating your yeah, power, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. Draw. Most efficient play is probably conceding. There, uh, it's not enough. <laughs> I have a very <laughs> nice enough, yeah. all that glitters. All that glitters. Uh, so it's going to give it, let's see, one, two, three. Um, four, five. Four. So in response, yeah. I will pay for life and snuff it out. That results. I, you know, I, I, could've, I think I could have just killed you last turn. <laughs> <laughs> so you're toying. Oh yeah, you're toying with me. Absolutely. Okay, so now is is this the best time to pass the turn? Actually, uh -huh. no. I have another oh, artifact yeah, let's, here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big place. Now you can go. Okay, I will untap. Mm -hmm. uh, drop. This is not the turn you attack. Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to attack with my creatures. All of them? Every single one of them. Thinking. Yeah. I shall say no blocks. I will take the damage. Yeah. Am I dead? <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely oh, dead. Okay. No, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So after that fantastic game one, just trimming down on some of the little cards that aren't as needed, a consider, a mental note, and a spell pierce. Spell pierce, not at his best, he's a lot of creatures. And I'm bringing in unexpected things for that massive life gain against this kind of aggro deck. And uh, two hydroblasts to just get rid of the red cards that may be problematic later on in the game. So after that demoralizing uh, loss against the uh, Black Blue Terror, um, I took out two Foundry Helix. Uh, which is a bit too much mana. Uh, one golden uh, a gold warden's helm, which is a bit of a flex slot, so I don't really need again too much mana against counter spells and a lot of easy uh, spells to remove my guys. Um, I took out one galvanic blast because it's four damage. It doesn't kill anything. It just goes to face. And um, I also took out two all that glitters because I thought that uh, my opponent would go heavy on removal, then it was pretty easy what I would bring in. It would be three Relic of Progenitus and three Journey to Nowhere, just hard removal and hard graveyard hate. Round two, fight. And we're back with another dub for Luis. I'm on the draw in this game too, after beating old man Stefanos half to death. And I see you have taken your mantle in the loser's place. Uh, well done, well done. I demonstrate what happened before, but will not happen again. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've heard that before. Never again. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we're yeah. both keeping seven, correct? We're both keeping seven, yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to start with the... Um, <laughs> Windscar. <laughs> the, the number one play. With the Windscar. <laughs> I will gain one, don't forget. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I will take my turn. Thank you. I will play a snow covered island and I'll pass. I will on top and draw for 10. Resolve. So, um, with my mountain mm -hmm. and my windscar crag, sure. I would like to play a barred battery. And what does that do? It, uh, it makes a rebel. It makes oh, okay. a rebel. Okay. And then the rebel is attached to this uh, uh, fine equipment and it becomes a 3 1 because it gets plus 1, minus 1. It's your turn. Fair enough. <laughs> on your end step, I am going to cycle. Alorian Revealed, looking for an island of some sort. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for our nice ice tunnel. Or a nice, nice tunnel. A, a nice ice tunnel, <laughs> yeah, a nice ice tunnel. On tap. 
And draw. And we'll play our Ice Tunnel Tempt and pass to you. Let's up. Draw. Let's start by attacking. You know what? I'm going to see if I can spike a nice snap out by mental noting. Sure. So, one, two, draw. <laughs> I think three. Okay. Then second main phase, I will synthesizer and exile the top card, my okay. library. Oh, it's a card I can play. That's, that's a good card. It's a card, it's a good I, card. I can play. So, I will play my Glinthawk yep. and return the synthesizer to my hand. And trigger again. And trigger again. It's a oh. That's how the deck plays. <laughs> You're actually doing stuff this time. <laughs> and I will play the land yep, and then it. pass the turn. On tap. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a snow covered island. I'll begin this turn by mental noting once again. Sure. One, two, and draw. So I have that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The yeah, Gurma. I'm going to Garmag. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, and then I shall pass the turn back to you. I'm going to end up. Draw for turn. Hmm. I think I want to start the turn by synthesizing. Oh, what, what, what a surprise! Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It's a Lembus, oh. a new card from Lord of the Rings. You're on 17. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack for two. I'll take two. Then I'm going to not play the Lembus. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Is that another Glenhawk by chance? Uh, actually, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the Lembus <laughs> because I want to scry and draw a land. You got it. Scry. No. It's not bad, it's not bad. It does draw a card, and I'll draw. give you that. Doesn't draw a land though. <laughs> so, we shall pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I am going to get rid of the rebel, because he is red. He is red. I will untap, draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to Thoughts Tower. Yep. Target myself, one. More creatures. Two. Yes. Well, it's not bad. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm. Yeah. One, uh, two, three. Yeah, put these two back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make some space for my Lambas. I'll play land for turn. Play another Garmag Angler. Sure. All six of these. You know, this all tells me that uh, one, you're two, in a three, tough four, spot. Five. Uh, that's what, yeah. that's what, maybe a little point. bit, maybe a little bit. I will attack for five. I will take five. And I'll pass the turn back to you. I'm on 16. I will untap. Draw. Currently I can outrace you at least. Probably, yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Looks like a little bit more of a fair matchup uh, instead of what we did last game. That is true, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Two mana. I'm gonna try and Skyfisher my synthesizer. You got it. Then this will get exiled. It's a land. Yay! <laughs> I will play the land. Yep. Um, All that glitters. Who are you going to equip? No, I'm going to attack for two. Take two. I'm going to throw Ben Inspector. Resolve. And make a clue. He's your boy. And I'm going to pass the turn. Pass the turn? Yep. I will untap, draw for turn. Okay, I will play a tap land. I'm gonna hit. You're gonna hit. Uh, I would like to block one of them. Yeah. One of them. You got it. Uh, yeah. You take five. I take five. I'm on eleven. And I'll pass the turn back to you. I would like to end step galvanic blast you for four. I will spell pierce. Spell Pierce resolves. <laughs> <laughs> so go. I'm going to enter. Nice try. Nice try, boy. Draw. So, we all know what's going to happen. We're going to synthesize a bit. How many cards in hand? I have... A thousand, yeah. Six. <laughs> go for it. Let's exile. 
A relic. Yeah, go, go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Please. Um, I'm begging you to. Let's attack for four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I would like to play a three bin inspector. Yep. <sighs> That's not result. Yep, there results. I'll make another clue. And I would like to play another three bin inspector. I'll counter this one. Hey, hey boy. Please don't have another. Just, <laughs> just stop. I'm gonna play a land. Yep. And it's your goal. And tap. Didn't play the relic? No, no, I didn't play the relic. No, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Drop. We'll begin with a brainstorm. Yep. This is the following the Minguchi way. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Put these two back. Okay. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Tap with both of my guys. I would like to declare blockers sure. and block one of them. Okay, I will then Aww. unexpected fangs the non-blocked creature to get put a plus one plus one counter and a lifelink counter. Does that resolve? It does resolve, yeah. So if Thraben dies, you take six and I gain six. One, All right. two, three, four, five, six. And I go to five. And I will go over to you. I would like to kill this though. Kill it. Yeah. I will counter spell. Yeah. Sure. Tapped out. Taps out. One card. What can we do? <laughs> Need some Lembus. <laughs> I can eat lots of Lembus, and I will tell you in a minute why. <laughs> because oh, yeah, I will. Another Lembus. Man? I will play a Lembus. Oh, let's go. This is this is this is what you signed up for. Scry. I don't like this. That's what I like to hear. Let's draw. That's a bit better. Mm -hmm. We can play planes. Planes resolved. <laughs> um, Ecor Wellspring. <laughs> yeah. Draw another card. Eggs the deck. Mm. It's your turn. On tap. Draw for turn. Um, I am going to attack with my friendly friends. I will block this one, which is bigger. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. Uh, actually, before damage, I would like to gain three from Lembas. Is all. Yeah. So this goes back to my library because Lembas says when it goes to the graveyard, it's only a shuffle into these. Deck? Yeah. Deck. One, so two, I go three. to eight and then take one, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you gain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, and your friendly friend is My dead. friendly friend dies. And then I think. I am going to consider. Yep. Draw it because I know what's on top. Oh. Play your friend the cryptic serpent. Sure. And pass back to you. Remember that uh, sure. that relic. That relic will be nice now. <laughs> Let's draw a card with my clue. Don't forget you can make a samurai with your synthesizer. Yeah. Sure. Make a blocker. I can. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Here we go, here we go. Have you found the stuff to get you out of this? I found a destroy evil. Counter spell. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> this is a man who has lost all hope in Sure, everything. why not? Yeah. I don't think there is an out. No, I, I know one. It's called conceding. No, no, never conceding. Um, I don't think that there is a lot of things that I can do, so I will pass. The tail as old as yourself, Stefanos passing. I mean, how lucky can you be having a counter spell? In oh yeah, 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 in yeah. the counter uh, deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will attack with a squad. The squad is good. I will block uh, the big one. Block the big one. Yeah. Can go to six and then lose uh, horribly. Yeah, it's a good game. Thank you. Another one in hand. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, um, it's fine. I don't think that really would have made a difference at the time, but you know, it is what it is. You were doomed. I was doomed. We'll be back with the post-game wrap right after these messages from our spot. No, I'm just, we'll, we'll be back with the post-game wrap. <laughs> I am the sponsor. <laughs> I mean, it's Stephanos, right? Come on, dude. Yeah. It happens every time. Every time I see him at FNM, TNM, you know. B&Q. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> no, to be fair, Stefanos' big weakness in Magic is drawing very badly and also losing lots of games. So, just, I, you know, some people should retire. <laughs> he never was in the game to begin with, so it's a little hard to tell him that. Aww. He's just tired, unfortunately. We love you, Stefanos. One, <laughs> no, one day, kidding, you'll do it. You know, it was funny recently, I tell him a quick story about Stefanos recently, and he, he can never decide what deck he's going to play. And there was a big tournament, and he finally decided what deck he was going to play, <laughs> and he forgot to bring it. Yeah, I wrote, so. I wrote <laughs> but well done, Luis. How was the Blue Black Terror? Really fun. It was exactly my kind of deck, just playing cheap and fast spells, bringing something big, crushing my opponents, wearing my crown after the wonderful defeat. You know, it's just... We it's really need want. to wash that crown, don't we? Um, no, but well done. Uh, it was great to see the decks in action and uh, Pauper, really exciting format. Looking forward to bringing you some more Pauper episodes. So, for sure. before you go anywhere, we do have a giveaway. So if you'd like to enter our giveaway for this wonderful box of Dominaria Remastered, then uh, just make sure you like the video, subscribe, share it on our social media. It can be any social media. We've had LinkedIn, we've had Bebo, MySpace, Tinder, all, all of them, <laughs> right? In fact, actually do every single one of them. That's really, really good. Send us an email with proof that you've done it and we'll enter you into the competition. And if you'd like to go one step further than subscribing, we do have a Patreon as well with two different tiers. We'll bring up our lovely Patreon names we just love you so much. You're amazing. You're actually better humans than your average person, and you can actually tell people that I said that as well. And I heard that for one of those patron tiers, you actually get to play games and spell tables. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. So if you too want a chance to beat Stefanos, just like me, <laughs> come on down. And, you know, I mean, maybe we can set the bar a little bit higher. Uh, <laughs> right, we hope you enjoyed the show anyway. Uh, we'll catch you next time on Chad Magic. Bye for now. Take care.